what someone may find if they were to reflect on their life, as they just about their whole life revolves around their job. And so this is going to stop them from being able to have time for other hobbies, perhaps their relationships can be heavily neglected, and their main focus will be their career or their job or their business. And it could then be said that they will be out of balance. Now, of course, it's never going to be possible to be completely in balance because there's always going to be a certain area that needs more attention than anything else. But if someone is solely focused on their job, then they're going to be totally out of balance and there won't be any room for them to relax, to recharge, to have fun, because all their energy and time will be directed towards this area of their life, or most of it. But although they will be out of balance, they can be used to receiving positive feedback from others. So people could tell them that they are an example of how someone should be. And this could show that they live in a society that values hard work. Someone can either be seen as hard working or they can be seen as being lazy. There will be no middle ground. There can be no such thing as working smart. And through living in this way, they may often find that they feel exhausted. And so every now and then, they could be burnt out. They might not be able to get out of bed for a few days or perhaps even longer. And then once they are back on their feet, they might not allow themselves to fully recover. They could be on their way again, working hard. And based on how they live, it could be said that they are simply working themselves to death. But although they will be out of balance, they can enjoy living in this way. And as they are ignoring so many other needs and they are not taking care of themselves fully, it can be hard to understand why someone would enjoy being a workaholic. However, if they were to stop living in this way and they were just to be with themselves, to sit down and connect to what is taking place inside them, they may end up feeling agitated and uncomfortable and they could soon feel the need to get back to work. And naturally, falling asleep at night is likely to be a challenge because they could have so much on their mind about what they haven't done, what they need to do, what they're going to do tomorrow. But back to being with themselves, if they were to stick with this process and to go underneath this agitation and discomfort and even frustration, they may find that they start to feel ashamed and guilty and very low. They could feel worthless. They could feel helpless and hopeless. And what this can then show is that through working all the time, it allows them to avoid a lot of deep pain. And working can be a way for them to be loved and to finally feel worthy, worthy of life, to feel valuable. And the reason why they would have so much pain can be due to what took place during their early years. So this may have been a time when they were deprived of a lot of the things that they needed in order to grow and develop in the right way. And working is in a way for them to keep this pain at bay. And so through being deprived, they wouldn't have developed a felt sense of love and worth and deserving and the right to exist and to be here. And so they will be using their body and their mind to try to experience what they don't feel naturally. So through achieving things, through giving, through constantly being on this treadmill, this will allow them momentarily, because if they don't continue to work, this won't be there to feel loved, to feel valuable. And so naturally they're going to have such a strong compulsion because if they stop behaving in this way, they will soon come into contact with a lot of deep pain and this will be overwhelming. And as to why they became addicted to work and not something else, this could be because they had at least one parent, one caregiver who was also a workaholic. 
and through being around this person they would have come to see perhaps unconsciously that if they ended up behaving in the same way they would also receive what they missed out on the love and the attention and the affection that they missed out on during the early years and they may have also grown up in an environment where they had to work really hard and so this would have how they behave as an adult would have just been a continuation of what took place during their early years and so if you can relate to this you can see that you have turned into a machine and you are a human doing and a human being in name only and you want to start to become more in balance to focus on other areas of your life your relationships to have fun to play to travel to do other things then you may have a lot of emotional wounds to work through trauma and as you start to do this you'll need to do so much it will gradually subside because you will be able to feel good about yourself without needing to do so much so if you can relate to this please reach out for the assistance that you need to gradually change your life and to become a human being If you would like to find out more about the services that I offer, please go to www.oliverjrcooper.co.uk or email me at info at oliverjrcooper.co.uk and I am looking forward to assisting you on your journey.